Rupert, an action-oriented pig like me, just wasn't meant to waste his time sitting around in a library. Shh. Libraries and me, we just don't mix. We're like oil and honey, milk and water, bread and... No, bread goes with everything. Why don't you get something to read? You mean like... like a book? I know it's a crazy idea. No, no, Rupert. You might have something there. <coughs> Encyclopedia of Advanced Thermo Astrobiophysics? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. You've read it before? Lots of times, Rupert. Ah, there's nothing like a good sleep before you go to read. Pudgy? Pudgy, wake up! Pudgy? Shh! Uh, him. Shh! You weren't sleeping, were you, Pudgy? Uh, just now? Oh, no. <laughs> Of course not. I was much too busy reading. But I heard you snoring, Pudgy. In fact, we all heard you snoring. <laughs> <laughs> snoring? Oh, that. No, no. You see, I suffer from a very rare and serious condition. When I'm involved in strenuous intellectual labor, like reading, my brain produces an excess of, uh, batter glamulin waves, thus causing a severe constriculation of my nasocinerary passages, which naturally produces a sound not unlike snoring. <laughs> Read. Batter glamulin waves? <laughs> nice try, Pudgy. She's not looking. Here's our chance to escape. But, Pudgy, we can't just... Come on, Pudgy. We should go back. Oh, we're just leaving a couple of minutes early. There must be a back way out of here. Shh! Yikes! Where are we? I don't know. I've never been in here before. It looks as if no one's been in here for years. Listen. I think we'd better go back now, Rupert. Mrs. Gooseberry is looking for us. Don't you hear that music? Yes, I hear it. But I do have a lot of reading to do. Wait a minute, Rupert. Rupert? Where did the door go? Rupert, where did you go? Rupert! Look, it sounds as if the music is coming from that book. <sighs> uh, Rupert, I don't mean to alarm you, but you're bathed in eerie yellow light. <gasps> Pudgy, you've got to see this. Do I have to? Come on. Wow, you see, Rupert? I told you there was a back way out. Yes, but there doesn't seem to be a way back in from the back way out. The music's coming from over that hill. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Rupert, and this is Podgy. We heard you playing. I'm Fred. Fred Fiddler. You play the fiddle, and your last name is Fiddler. How convenient. Why were you playing such a sad song, Fred? I can only play sad songs now, because I'm so sad. You see, I'm in love with... Hark! Who the heck is Hark? Hey, Fiddle! You forgot your Fred! Hold! Who are you? We are the King's men. We are searching for one of the King's fiddlers. He's missing. Oh, what did he look like? Well, he had a fiddle, just like that one. Oh, is this a fiddle? Yes, that's the missing fiddler's fiddle. That means you are the missing fiddler. Me? I'm not the missing fiddler. Prove it. 
Well, firstly, I'm not missing. And secondly, it's not my fiddle. But it's not my fiddle either. Seize them both. Yeah! <laughs> an involuntary oof at that. Shh! The king is in a terrible mood. Do you want to get thrown into the dungeon? I don't know. Is it closer to the kitchen? Shh! Why is the king in such a bad temper? Well, you see, the king has three daughters. Clara, Cloris, and Kristen. Kristen has fallen in love. She has her heart set on marrying a perfectly nice fiddler named Fred. Fred Fiddler? Yes. But the king simply won't allow the marriage because Fred is a commoner. Fred Fiddler ran away because he couldn't bear to be so close to Kristen and yet be unable to marry her. And now Kristen is filled with unhappiness. And when his daughter is unhappy, the king is unhappy. And when the king is unhappy... Oh, enough! Off with you! To the dungeon! Surely you jest! I want my pipe! I want my bow! Why, that's old King Cole. Old Cold who? You remember, Podgy? From the nursery rhyme. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. Only he's not very merry these days. He called for his pipe, he called for his bow, he called for his... Fiddlers three! I want my Fiddlers three! I called for three Fiddlers, didn't I? But, but I'm not a fiddler. I'm not a musician at all. That's a fiddle you're holding, isn't it? Well, yes, but... Then, fiddle! Welcome to the band. I'm Frank Fiddler. This is my brother, Ferdy. Our other brother, Fred, is missing. I'm Rupert. Where have you played before, Rupert? Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we played there, too. I mean, nowhere. Really? Play! <laughs> Too badly. Off with you all to the dungeon. To the dungeon, I presume. Rupert, we've got to find a way to get out of here. We could be stuck here for days, for months, for years. Oh no! I don't think the king would do that to us, would he? Why don't you ask him? Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me how long you've been here? Quite a while, I suppose. One day melts into another, and then the weeks seem like months, and the months seem like years. Who can say how long we've been in here? It's only been a couple of hours, Podgy. I can't take it anymore! Please! Please! I've got to get out of here! Now! You mean all I had to do was ask? Free at last! You there!
don't think that's a log, Pudgy. Huh? <laughs> that's the longest I've ever lasted on a bucking crocodile. It's you! Well, of course it is, Rupert. Who else could it be? Who is it? It's Kristen, the king's daughter. Why did you help us escape? Because I need your help. You see, I want to find Fred. I've been so unhappy since he left. I'm sure he's hiding in the village, but it's much too dangerous for me to travel alone. We'll help you, Kristen. Come on, Pudgy. I'm too tired for any more running, Rupert. We need a bus or a plane. But I suppose a couple of pure white horses and a wagon will do. We must hurry. My father's men won't be far behind. Hello there! <laughs> You're Humpty Dumpty! Humpty Dumpty's my name. Falling off the wall's my game. <laughs> Do you know where we can find Fred Fiddler? Oh, you mean Fred Fiddler the Fiddler? That is, the Fred Fiddler who plays the fiddle? That's the one. Don't know him, sorry. But if you're looking for anyone in Storyland, Mother Goose is the one to ask. Where can we find Mother Goose? That's easy. Just go right into town and ask somebody. <laughs> I think this guy has had one too many falls. Is there anything else I can help you with? As a matter of fact, we're being chased by the king's men. Do you think you could slow them down a little when they come by? Now you're talking. I'll just sit right up here on the wall, and when they come by, I'll have a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men will spend hours trying to put me back together again. It never fails. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Give it to me! Give me that fat! No! It's my fat! Mine! My goodness, it's Jack Spratt and his wife. Who? Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so, betwixt them both, they licked the platter clean. Sounds like a good relationship to me. It used to be, but all of a sudden, Jack's taking a liking to fat. Give me that fat! It's mine! Mine, I tell ya! Yo! Yo! It's Jack Be Nimble! Jack! Yo! What's wrong? I don't know. I'm still nimble, but I'm not nearly as quick as I used to be. Jack, we need to find Mother Goose. You might find her at Old Mother Hubbard's down at the end of the street. This is terrible. Nothing in Storyland is the way it's supposed to be. It seems that all the nursery rhymes are malfunctioning. Yeah, and they're not working too well either. I just hope Humpty Dumpty is able to slow down the king's men. All the king's horses and all the king's men should be along just about now. You there. You've had a great fall. Are you all right? Yes. I seem to be fine. You don't need to be put back together again? No. All right, then. I don't understand it. I'm supposed to be in a million pieces. This is terrible. Old Mother Hubbard's house should be just up here. <gasps> I know this one. It's Little Bee Poop. That's Little Bo Peep. Oh, sorry. But I thought you lost those sheep and didn't know where to find them. That's the way it's supposed to go. But now I can't lose these sheep. They just keep following me. Go on, shoo, get lost. Stop following me. Oh, why is everything so mixed up? There they are. We'll have to run for it. Ah, Mrs. Goose. Not Mrs. Goose. It's Mother Goose. Wow, you sure look a lot like a big fat librarian. I beg your pardon? 
Mother Goose, we've been looking for you. We must find Fred Fiddler. Quick, come inside. We'll go out the back way. Who's that? Old Mother Hubbard. She's going to the cupboard to fetch a poor dog a bone. But when she went there, the cupboard was bare. That's the way it's supposed to go. Just watch. Everything in Storyland has gone haywire. The dog's not complaining. Quickly. He'll be at the crooked man's house. That's where all the fugitives end up. Look at those poor black sheep. They haven't any wool at all. I just don't know what's happening in Storyland. Perhaps it's because of the king. What do you mean? Well, old King Cole has stopped being a merry old soul. So if something's gone wrong with his rhyme, maybe all the other rhymes in the kingdom have been affected. You could be right. Then this is all my fault. There they are! The Crooked Man's house is just down here. Who's this Crooked Man character? There was a Crooked Man, and he went a Crooked Mile. He found a Crooked Sixpence against a Crooked Style. He bought a Crooked Cat, which caught a Crooked Mouse, and they all live together in a Crooked House. Well, it looks as if he's gone straight. How are you feeling, Mr. Crook? Stiff. I feel stiff. Fred! Kristen! Wow! He fell straight out of the window. Never would have happened in my old house. How did you find me? Rupert and Podgy helped me. If it hadn't been for them... You two! I can't thank you enough. But, Fred, everything in Storyland is in such a mess. And it's all because my father isn't merry anymore. The wise old owl simply won't shut up. And Peter Piper suddenly changed his name to Bob Smith. Bob Smith picked a peck of pickled pepper. It just doesn't work. I can only be happy when I'm with you, Kristen, but... but... Our happiness means that the whole kingdom is miserable. Maybe we should just give up. But you can't just give up. You've got to talk to the king and make him understand that no one will be happy this way. You've got to tell him... That you're terribly sorry for what you've done. <gasps> And that you will never again defy his command. I must say, I'm pleased to hear you say that you're terribly sorry for what you've done, and you'll never again defy my command. <laughs> In fact, I'm downright merry. <laughs> I want my pipe, I want my bowl, I want my fiddler's three. Play. <laughs> I'm so merry. Excuse me, Your Highness. Who dares to interrupt the royal merriment? I beg your pardon, sir, but anyone can see that you aren't merry at all. And until you're a merry old soul again, all of Storyland will be turned upside down. Well, how do you expect me to be merry when my daughter is so unhappy? It breaks my heart to see her so broken-hearted. Then you've got to let her marry Fred. <gasps> but, but he's a commoner. But if he married Kristen, he would become a prince, wouldn't he? Hmm. He'd be royalty then. True. But he'd still be a musician. A royal musician. You know, having a musician in the family might be fun. Thank you, Daddy. And thank you, Rupert. <laughs> huh? I certainly didn't bargain on having an entire band in the family. You know what they say, Your Highness. If you can't beat them, 
join them. <laughs> Dance? I'd love to, but I can't. You see, I suffer from a very rare and serious condition. Dance! <laughs> <laughs>